wind wasn't real strong, but it was just strong enough that you couldn't take it if you were out. Just a few things. We have finals coming up very quickly. It's hard to believe the semester is almost over, but uh, next Friday we will be letting out for Christmas break. Um, the one thing that we have added um, that will be a very nice uh, program for a lot of our people that cannot maybe get out to <coughs> football games is a program that's being offered called Strife, S D R I V. It will allow people to have live stream uh, about a seven second away from the actual event that's going on. Uh, we've ordered the equipment, the order, equipment's coming in. We have not gone through the formal training, but I hope that we can still go ahead and maybe uh, videotape our Christmas program first and be able to have that out live. So if it's cold and people can't come out, they can stay at home and watch the, the video itself. So. A lot of busy things going on, but school year semester is going very well. It will uh, be over very soon. Uh, just call uh, your attention just a couple uh, items on the, uh, I guess, page two, just the community projects. Uh, just to, again, to call attention to the students uh, and the teachers for two activities in which they have really, I, I think, touched upon the students, the uh, opportunities to give. Uh, to those that are not as fortunate as what some of us are, uh, our food pantry items that we collected was very successful. 500 pounds were collected and taken down by Mr. Khan and myself. And also the Adopt a Family uh, program is still going on right now and has been successful. <coughs> the little difference to that this year was that the Pride teachers themselves involved the students in ways in which they could uh, raise some funds to help purchase some of the items for the Adopt a Family instead of calling upon family members to bring it and that money was was kept in in house where they uh, worked concession stands and did some things that was in house we didn't go out into the community of Fairmont to you know to solicit those funds and I thought they were both very successful again both students and staff should be applauded for that and also I did not put in my report our music concert on December 4th was very successful again uh, Miss Jameson and Mr. K Skinner do a marvelous job with grades 5 through 8 and it was very uh, well attended by the community uh, and they all still, those that were there really wish we were in our theater. And it was very well attended. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Adams? 
Our K2 program was on the 29th. It also was very well attended, and so I'd just like to extend that in invitation to you. The 3-4 um, musical program will be on Monday night at 7, and on Thursday night's the pipe program at 7, so um, they're usually pretty packed, but um, still a great, a great time. The kids work hard, and staff works hard to prepare for that, so you're welcome to attend attend that. Um, not in the report, but we just finished our double screener that we've talked about that we do three times a year. And so this uh, week we're going to spend some time with individual classroom teachers and we, we talk about the individual student data um, from each classroom and devise our intervention uh, plans for anyone not at Benchmark. But we um, came out with the highest percent at Benchmark that we've ever had. It was 79.697, which rounds to 80. So we're going to celebrate some 80s um, decor dress next week. Questions? I think I'd send you an update. Maybe Friday, the state fire marshal uh, had come here on last week. Wednesday it was on the fifth, and we did a walkthrough. And he, we talked to him about a few things. We talked to him about. Uh, Possible science room remodel and what we have to do to come up to code. He did. He did feel like we would have to sprinkle the entire building, but that that he was fine with us doing it in in phases and covering it over a, a five-year period. So uh, it's the first time I had seen him in the building, and I think in his notes it's the first time he'd been since like 2001 or 2002. So it had, it had been a while. Uh, we've been, we've had a group of teachers and administrators working on a grading policy <clears throat> for the last two years. We've met probably on a monthly basis over two years. Of course, didn't meet in the summers, but during the school year. And we're going, what we'd like to, to propose eventually is kind of a, a more uniform way to grade in our third through twelfth grade so that we kind of have all classes and all teachers on the same Paid so so that a 85% in English means the same as an 85% in math and means the same as right now most of our staff are pretty independent on how they grade that we have a you know we have the 93 to 100 is an A and whatever but we're talking about you know how much does a semester exam count and you know, the difference between a formative and a summative assessment and we'll try to get some of the board that information. We're going to talk to our staff. The committee is pretty much done working. We're going to introduce it to our staff at, at the work space in January and we'll introduce it to the board. The board doesn't really have a grading policy. You have just basically what's been adopted in each principal's handbooks and we're trying to, to get a more uniform type of, uh, of a grading procedure. And, and, uh, I think the committee's worked very hard on it. We, we followed a book and uh, the outline of a book, and we had a lot of good uh, interchanges. And didn't always agree, <coughs> but I think that as a committee, we've, we've come to a great agreement. And, uh, I'll try to have some of the committee here in January as we start bringing this to the board and talking about it a little bit in January and February. We'll have some of the committee come and, and speak to you about it. So I just kind of wanted to plant the seed tonight. We'll be sending you some stuff to take a look at. To look over. Um, I think in your pack you should have had a first quarter uh, financial statement. And I said that I'd review that basically tonight. And currently, uh, through the end of November, that's the end of the first quarter. Our budget year starts, of course, September one. So September one through the end of November, uh, you know, if if twenty five percent of our budget was used that would be about on par and we're at 22.7 percent district-wide we have not received any of our large quarterly ESU buildings yet billings yet for sped services and speech and school psych etc so you know that'll be a big chunk that'll come probably next month so as this time we've spent 1.78 million or 22 percent of our budget we've had a total revenue of two million one hundred and sixty three thousand oh forty eight. So that's where we stand after one quarter. That's all I have. Any questions for Mr. McGrath? 
Okay, then we'll move into the action item. Minutes of the November 10th meeting. Need a motion? Second. 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 Moved by Shelkoff and seconded by Donovan that the board approve the minutes of the November 10th regular board of education meeting. Roll call. Shelkoff? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Maloney? Yes. And then yes, Oshner? Yes. White Klein Schmidt? Yes. Sorry, Lightwine? Yes. And Domeyer? Yeah. I'm not sure who I was talking to. Uh, financial reports? Need a motion? Um. <coughs> Second. Moved by Dave and seconded by Mark that the board approve the financial reports as presented. Discussion? Roll call. Oshner? Yes. Lightline? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Maloney? Yes. Nanyas? Yes. Shawcock? Yes. And Yes. General fund claims. Uh, we had a total that it was just given $102,516.53. Any motion? So by Shelkoff and seconded by Kleinsmith that the Board of Food General Fund claims the amount of $102,516.53. <coughs> Roll call. Shelkoff? Yes. Kleinsmith? Yes. Lightwine? Yes. Maloli? Yes. Nine yes. Oshner? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Delmar? Yes. Building fund claims? We need a motion. So, second. Moved by Lightline and seconded by Donovan that the board approved building fund claims in the amount of $1,875. Discussion? Roll call. Lightline? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Maloney? Yes. Madden Yas Oshner? Yes. Shelcock? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Dunmire? Yes. QCAP fund claims. Need the motion? So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. Moved by Shelkoff and seconded by Donathan that the board approved qualified capital purpose fund claims in the amount of $128,886.25. Discussion? Roll call? Shelkoff? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Lightwine? Yes. Maloli? Yes. Nanyas Oshner? Yes. Dunmire? Yes. High School Science Room Proposal? Yes. High School Science Room Proposal? Need a motion? I'll move. Second. By Oshner and seconded by Shawcroft that the board approve the selection of the Clark Emerson Partners as an architect and proceed with the renovation of the high school science room project. The project scope may include renovations to the science room as well as improvements to the industrial technology lab and the addition of fire sprinklers to the existing facility. Discussion? I would just a re reminder of the timeline what this would basically authorize is Clark Anderson to do the work, the plans, etc., to to put out to bid. The board would then still have time if they wanted to in the future to to reject the plans or would put it out to bid and the bids come in and they're all too high to stop the process there. Just this just kind of starts that that timeline for those things just to just to let you know. I think the original Estimate would this would be around four hundred and seventy-seven thousand, but again, that's just an estimate. So, well, was that including some sprinklers? Was that right? that's that including the whole thing? It no, it's no. Entry into the school and along that back hallway, locker rooms into the science rooms. That's what that piece. Of and that's what you're talking about. You talked to the fire marshal. 
and he didn't okay it, but he said he liked that plan or he was okay with it. Yeah. Where we wouldn't, I guess what I'm saying, where we wouldn't have to go through the whole building at once. That's kind of what you got from him. As far as he's concerned, well, I, I never <laughs> to we wouldn't have to do it at once. He did say, you know, he has to submit our proposal to the state office in Lincoln, and, but he said that for schools they've almost always allowed us five years. Is there any way possible to get Pat here and actually ask him some questions about that? Because I, I would rather talk with, with Pat and say, what do you look at? Because personally, I would rather see us put the cost of the whole building. If I'm going to do safety, I want to do safety for kids. I, I, I just have this earth wing sitting there going, we need to do the whole building and get it done with and just bite the bullet. So I'd like to see the cost of what it would cost of what you're saying just for the rooms and then what it would cost for us as a complete because I'm trying to remember did we ask him Jim? I don't think he gave us a figure. I know that he was very impressed with the fire doors that we have and the way that we have our always broken off. He thought it was because of that, he thought the stages that we would go through would be fine. He, he looked at every door. I think every door yeah. we had was a fire door, which he yeah. said that's pretty rare in a 1975 building. But. Yeah, he even commented when we were in the gym how the metal work around the top of the gym, the building was done right. No, I, I don't disagree yeah. there. It's and I know your fire doors have to be at least a good four-hour door, easy, you know. But I just like to see what the cost would be. For us, because again, my my whole aspect would be safety for the kids. If I'm going to do this, you know, and then look at it down the road and say, okay, do we need to take it to the public? And if it's that much money, one way or the other, you don't want the public to have a lie. Well, I, I think we'll sprinkle the whole building. There's no doubt about that. Is there? No, no, and uh, you have to. Right. That that we both agree. But do you do it in phases, or do you uh, just run some and get it done? And I'm with Sean. I think that we need that information before we really can make a decision. I'd like to see what those numbers come in at. Um, we waited a lot of months to get this information. We've only had a month to really look at it. I think it's a great project, but I'd like some community buy-in. You know, let's get some information out to the community and let them comment. I don't think we've given them enough time to do that. That's another question I had. I, I know at the same time that we're talking about remodeling, we're doing some uh, uh, anything that makes sense. Well, that's not included in this project that we're talking about. So the the only one that's that something that we do have to The only do one that do. we've talked about is doing the lift that goes right. down into the shop. But I think I have that. I think I have that on the estimate here. That was it's in the four hundred and seventy seven thousand. That's in the four seventy seven? I thought what they presented us last time was four seventy seven and then fifteen above and beyond. I don't think so, Sherry. Not positive, but it seems to me like they had that as part of the I think the thought was we have we have to do the lift anyway. We have to do the lift whether we do the science or the lift. Well, that's something that was, that's part something of that was mandated. You know, we're going to have to do it. But they and thought they could do it cheaper if we put it in. If we did it all together, it all together as one. I remember that. Was, I, I remember that. Was, most likely, the architectural part of it. Yeah, I have it listed separately, so I don't believe it was part of the four hundred and seventy-seven thousand. I have it listed as thirty-one thousand two thirty-three. In that, I say in that financial summary, I think last mm -hmm. month going over our particular costs. <laughs> Any further discussion on this? So Roll call. Okay. If we approve this tonight, we could also say you know, it wouldn't hurt to know what it would cost to take the whole building. And then you could. Decide later on when it comes down the, when we get the bid. If we know we can do it now or not, I guess. What um, this tonight does is authorizes Clark Anderson to develop the start of the place. And we're going to be have some money down. Obviously yeah. Not down, but invested and, and 
So whether we do this, approve this, we can still do it both ways, either with or without the pay cuts in the future. I mean, the whole project is one, correct. Just authorizes them to really to make the plan, the, mm -hmm. the plan for the, get it ready for bid, if right. the board chooses to. To, to take it to bid. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Roll call. Oshner? Yes. Shellcock? Yes. None, no. Donovan? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Lightwine? Yes. Mullally? <laughs> I, I'm bit. I'm pulling up here on this. I'm going to say yes. Okay, Delmar? Yes. City paving assessment. You need a motion? I'll move. <coughs> So we got the bill. Oh, I'm sorry, discussion. We got the bill. <laughs> discussion? <laughs> this was moved by Donaldson and seconded by Lightwing that the board approved the payment of the city paving assessment as presented. And then there were a couple of options on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I presented, since we don't know the exact figure of the of the science remodel, that we just paid the 115th assessment. It is due this month. And then you know, as a board, we could always choose to pay it all the rest of it next year or whatever, but I thought until we see what comes in, maybe we just pay the, the minimum required for us right now. But there's no interest charge if we just pay the 115, right? Or is there an interest charge there's, on the balance? There's, I can't remember what it said, 3.2% interest every year that you don't pay it all off. I believe it was 3.2, Randy. I didn't yeah, bring that forward with me, I'm sorry. But, but I was thinking that's, yeah. if we pay the 115, the balance is subject to an interest charge. Right? Yeah. I believe that's the way I read it that's anyway. That's why I understood. Yeah. So. And we may be able to pay a lot more, but for now, if we don't know exactly what well, bid's at, if we're, we're going to pay it out of building, but I, I, I thought I don't we I think that's probably the I guess my question is, is that something I assume is legal we can do that? Yeah. What is questions? I know for a private, you know, individual could, but who is it? As a school, can do that too? We'll pay interest. Well, I mean, yeah, because we're receiving other funds to just pay that percentage and that pay the interest. We pay interest on our QCAP fund. Right. Um, right. <laughs> Any further discussion? Roll call. Donovan? Yes. Lightline? Yes. Oshman? Yes. Shellcock? Yes. Flanschmidt? City paid assessment. Minimum. Minimum. Okay. It's $4,060.07. Okay. $4, okay. Yes. 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 Uh, the audit report, we need a motion to approve it. Second. I'll second. Moved by Shelkoff and seconded by Lightline that the board approve the 2011-2012 audit report as presented. Discussion? Roll call. Shelkoff? Yes. Lightline? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Maloli? Yes. Men, yes. Oshner? Yes. Delmeyer? Yes. Retirement incentive applications? Whoever, if anyone makes this motion, you need to set a number also by policy. It can be set anywhere from zero, which means you wouldn't accept any early retirement applications or six at the maximum. We've been pretty consistent at setting two. Uh, we have two people that have shown interest. But it's up to the board to 
determine that number. So if you're making the motion, if you would set that number also, please. There's nine total. Eligible. There's nine people eligible. Eligibility is 55 years of age and at least 15 years in service to not just Geneva and Fairmont, but Draft and anything that's been our conglomeration of, of districts. <coughs> and if there is three or four and we set it at two, how is the decision made on which two get it? Oh, it's in the in policy. I think it goes by. I didn't read it. <laughs> it goes by seniority, so is seniority age or seniority how many years you have in your here. history? I think, I think if you look up the definition, it's probably age. Okay. Would it be beneficial to put more than two or not, or what's that do to our staff? Or it would be fine, Mark. I don't know. That, I mean, we... Again, I think it's been a win-win for the district. I think we've saved over the years a lot of money, and we've also, you know, rewarded good good teachers, given them an opportunity to pay for their insurance for a couple of years out of that. So I think it's been it's been great. And two has worked. And I I wouldn't like you to set it any less than two. You could set it more than two would be fine. I agree. I think this is a win-win for the teacher and a win-win for the school. So I I would not have any objection to having the number higher than two. So it doesn't mean they'll all take it. And they don't no, have right. to take it. it. I it just gives my question. Option. Is it normally used in the past? There's probably been two years when nobody's taken it at all. And I think the, the other years at least one has taken it. Have you had many years where you've had Four or five, one or two. No. I don't. I don't think or, we've or ever. They kind of figured that out ahead of time when they know there's only they two. They kind of, they kind of have it jockey already. <laughs> kind of who's, who's going where? But I, no, I don't think we've ever had more than two. I don't think we've ever had more than two apply that we had to tell somebody no. I don't believe we've ever had that. We're the least amount of third, and then third, and then three. I make the motion. Right. Right. I'll second. <laughs> Seven. 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 It's moved by Malloy and seconded by Donovan that the board approve accepting three retirement incentive applications for the 2013-2014 school year. Discussion? Roll call. Malolu? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Lettwine? Yes. Mann, yes. Oshner? Yes. Shelkoff? Yes. Delmeyer? Yes. Hmm. Move on to the discussion items. Uh, the first thing is the board evaluation process. I brought it. Evening, Jody put it together today. Um, last month we handed out the form, I believe, and uh, if she maybe sent out an email reminder to some of you that hadn't got it in, and uh, so that's the board's evaluation of itself. And I have not looked at it. She compiled it all, and uh, it's six out of the eight board members <coughs> got her stuff, and she she put it together. So I don't know if it's something you want to take a look at now and then leave it as a discussion item next month when you have a chance to look it over a little bit better that way you can visit more about it maybe next month would that would that work for everybody yeah. Yeah. Um, since we just got it tonight. it will will indoctrinate pj that way and board evaluation yeah. uh, board policy reviews sixty one hundred through sixty one fifty Should have had a checklist. I hope Can Jody give me a checklist in the, in the purple. I can't remember when we started this policy review, but it <laughs> seems like <laughs> it's been over a year, I think. Hasn't it? These are as 
I mean, as they're in the book, right? There were some things where it says have been adopted and will be incorporated, and then there's some some bold stuff. To be honest with you, I didn't I didn't look at it. Jody Jody ran it off and put it in, but I'm guessing she got it right out of the book. She has everything on disk, so she might have printed it off the disk. Okay. Too, but uh, I'll check that. So there's nothing that we need to add. It's really there. Where's it? This is already there, where it says it's going to be written into the curriculum and the start set. That's already there. I would, like which one? Um, 61.15. That was the first one. That might be the only one. Are they have to do with the state standards, probably? Yes. Yeah. Because the state standards are ongoing change <coughs> time, so I think what we try to do is was write our policy so it would just accept any changes without us having to always go back and re readopt our policy. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. But Six, I'll check on that. 6125 would be another one, maybe. I don't see anything there. 6130 there is. Oh, yeah, corporate. I think those are all inclusive. Okay. And then we move on to board ethics discussion. Um, I just had a couple things I wanted to share with the board on board ethics. First one is our policy number 1320. The Board of Education shall transact business only when it is an open session, has a quorum present, and keeps official minutes of its proceedings. No board member shall exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the school or the duties delegated to the superintendent or any school employee or as an individual command the services of any school employee. one is statutory authority number 1105 it is understood that the members of the board of education had the authority only when acting as a board in legal session or when authorized by the board to act on the district's behalf in discharging its responsibility the Fillmore Central Board of Education will function as a policy forming and legislative body. The board shall hire a superintendent of schools to be the administrative head of the school system and places responsibility for the execution of its policies directly in the hands of this executive officer. And then this reads from the superintendent's contract. The board shall have primary responsibility for the formulating and adapting board policy. Mark Novell shall be the chief administrative officer for the district and shall have primary responsibility for implementation of board policy. The parties agree individually and collectively not to interfere with or usurp the duties of the, or responsibilities of the other party. The board individually and collectively will promptly refer all criticisms, complaints, and suggestions called to its attention to Mark Norvell for action, study, or recommendation as appropriate. Uh, I am suggesting to the board, we our attorney has a class in board ethics that he would be willing to present to the board at a meeting. And he thought he could do this at the January meeting if it's okay for the rest of the members of the board. Who is that? Kelly Baker. It would be excellent. I've been to a lot of Kelly's classes at Kearney in Omaha. He does a great job. And we'll try to get this on. That's okay. You're talking about the in conjunction with our January meeting? Yes. That's fine. 
just so we're all clear, this is because I talked to two people in our district, and we've gotten the bills paid, but I'm not supposed to talk to anybody? I don't think you were mentioned, Sherry, in any of this. No, but where'd this come from? You were the one that called me and said that Mr. Norvell had suggested this be put on for me. I said we can't discuss board members in, in board meeting. I didn't mention your name. Did you call the rest of them and tell them that we were going to have an executive session to discuss this? I didn't say we were meet? having an executive session. No, you wanted one. No, I didn't say I wanted one. I said, would you be willing to have one? You said no. No. If you want to discuss it, then let's discuss it in public. We can do that. Yes, we can. Yeah. Let's say yes, we can discuss it. Well, then you two discuss it. Well, fine. That's not it. Why is it an issue? Well, that's why, I, like, when I talked to you today, that's why I called you, was what is the issue? Because when I'm reading this, I'm trying to figure this out, what happened. Yeah, what are you talking about? Because I don't know what stirred this up. And I seriously don't. And that's I why. suggested to Mr. Novell that I mention some comments about board ethics in the meeting tonight. And he agreed that was fine. And so that's what I'm doing. When I have a problem, with a, or someone calls me, and they very seldom do contact me. But if they do, my first response is always, have you talked to the principal or the superintendent about this issue? Okay. And if they say they have, then I say, then you're welcome to come to the board meeting, speak to the members of the board, and let us know your feelings on the issue. But I, as an individual board member, have, do not have the authority to act on or do anything about your problem because I am just a citizen of this community when I'm not sitting on the board. I don't have the authority to tell an employee what to do. I don't have the authority to tell Mr. Novell what to do. I don't, and I very seldom even call one of the principals about an issue like this. I will always talk to Mr. Norvell first if someone calls me with a problem. And I feel this is the meaning of teamwork on a board. You communicate with your superintendent. You do not go out and try to solve problems on your own as a board member. Okay, again, that's why I asked you, what was the specific, or do you not want to go there? I cannot go into specifics if we don't go into executive session. Oh, yes, you can. You want to talk about what happened. I disagree. We're, there's going to be <clears throat> names brought up and to protect some of the names we have to go board into Board names? Go session. ahead. I oh. know who you're talking about. The, the you have to do that in the section. I, I'm surely trying to figure this out, guys, because it's one of the ones that I, I'm not playing down. I'm not. I really want to know what is going on. going to executive session. I cannot say any more. Bring up any names. Are you bringing up names of the public, or are you talking about us? I think uh, <clears throat> just to just to clarify, it was on an update, Sean, that I sent, and I mentioned two families' names that owed money to the district. And Sherry took it upon herself to call them. And ask them what the situation was. Which, which I feel is not the role of a board member. Okay. You know, I, think, I think as a board member, you got to look at those updates and you have to be very careful. You know, I, I don't necessarily think it's all confidential information, but I think it's information that you just need to be careful about using in the public. And, if you have a question, I think I put a letter in here. If you have a question, I think calling Dennis or I to find out. But I, I just don't think it's a role of a board member to call an individual citizen in our district and say, hey, why haven't you paid your computer bill? You know, I just don't think that's the role of a board member. And, and especially right before Christmas, we weren't, even in the update, I said we weren't going to do anything until January with the holidays coming on and I just think it was very improper. Do you know what I asked them? Did I ask them to pay their bill? I called them and I asked what the situation was. It's improper, Sherry. That's my view. Then maybe you shouldn't have included their names. Yeah, I, I put too much trust in some people on the board, I agree. I guess I guess we're out now with it and just you can shut this down and move on, it doesn't matter to me, but it's one of the ones that sounds like that, you know, hey, did Mark, please take this the right way. If there was the issue, did you contact, you know, both of you two, did you contact Sherry to say, hey, you need to sit down and have a meeting? 
I mean, that's the issue. I don't know. I'm just, like I said, again, guys, I, if you, you're talking, what is a board and what are we supposed to be responsible for? What are we supposed to do? We're talking team, we're talking all this stuff, and we're talking around the circle. If, if there's an issue, that's fine. You call me on the carpet. You know, if I do something, call me on the carpet. I'll defend it. You know, and if I'm wrong, I'll accept I'm wrong. But if I'm right, then, then I'm going to accept that I'm right and then we're going to do something different. That's Anything my two else? cents. Oh, that's my okay. two cents for it. Then will anyone else have anything more on board? Okay. The next discussion item is review and discuss superintendent evaluation and superintendent contract. I don't, I don't think there's probably a lot to talk about. Dennis met with me, we went over the evaluation and uh, we put it on file and uh, he did a nice job of going through it with me and I appreciate it and I appreciate the work on the board of doing that. As far as the contract goes, it's just a reminder to you that uh, uh, my contract comes up for renewal for in January, so you'll be voting on that in January. I already have a contract for next year, which would be the 13-14 school year, so that you would be voting on the 14-15 school year. And, uh, I came here with a two-year contract, and the board has been good about continuing that two-year contract. Uh, Mr. Delmar, do you again, are you going to send out the final to the rest of us on the evaluation, or do you see what the final look like? I have no problems to look at it, or it, or sit down with you and look at it just to see what the oh, line is. Oh, I hadn't thought about it. We've never done that before. Synop yeah, we did last year. Yeah. You mean what, a synopsis of the evaluation? Yeah, just the, you know. Yeah, I can send that out. I'll email it. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you, are you going to send it out to the um, I think I think Dennis did a good job going over with it. And, and we highlighted the things that we needed to talk about. I can't really talk a lot about it unless we want to go in an executive no. session. But I thought it, I thought it, went, I thought it was fine. I thought it was very constructive, and I liked the way we did it. And I liked the process. <coughs> so, well, I guess follow along with what Jen was asking you know, a year ago. Nobody seemed very happy with the way this worked, and your perspective this year is it was a lot better. You know, more guidance is that maybe no, more just, to, just more useful. From my more perspective, useful. I felt it was more useful when it gave more guidance. But I, I guess that might be, mm -hmm. but I want to find out what. And I, I think you had the original idea for this because uh, it, you're not firing out, of, you know, a thousand different directions. You're, just, you're pointing into one or two areas, and that's much easier to for the superintendent, and it's much easier for the board to. Uh, and maybe we somehow can measure if we made the progress with the whole That's correct. Right. There's a major ability. Where like last year maybe we didn't have that in place to be able to really. And I more think more it is in place this year. Okay. Well, that's right. Okay. Then the next board meeting is scheduled for Monday, January 4th, 14th at 7.30. That will be, that? Nope, PJ will be sworn in, oath of office that night, and then also there'll be a uh, board election, of course, officer election will be that night, and then possibly Kevin Baker will be there. If not there, it will be another meeting in yeah. February and March. We'll look, we'll look at our schedule. And I need Dennis, you and Sherry both to sign check before you leave tonight, if you could. So. Before we close, real quick, you know, I think this is great Kevin Baker's coming. But, you know, now that I've re elected a I, I probably shouldn't say this, but I, you know, here I'm going to serve another term. And I, mean, I don't know, when I first got on this board, I don't think I even got this code of ethics. I wonder if there's anything we can do for new board members. You know, just kind of get, I don't know, I'm a list person. Can you just give me a list? These are the things you can and cannot do in a certain way. And is there, is there someone that can come and kind of lay that out for us? Or, or maybe it's something that you, you on staff can do. I, I just think sometimes we do things that... You know, when that someone comes to you and wants some help, you want to help them. But it'd be nice if we had more of a structured rule to follow. A and manual. Have a manual. Have a manual. Nice. And I know I, we had some I thought this list that he provided was very good. <laughs>
this, if you go down that list and you do all those things, yeah. it's on that list. <laughs> you're a darn good. <laughs> <laughs> you know. well, and no one's 100% on that. List. Right. You know, it's it, it lists everything. It's hard. It's hard for. I mean, you're you're lay people that work hard, and you do this on your your spare time. What spare time this is, and if we're not going to involve ourselves into going to a lot of professional development board members, which is expensive and you have to take off work, it's probably good to bring someone in every now and then. Because you I know. belong to those. And a lot of times you'll sit there in one of those conversations and somebody speaks up about some situation that's going on at their school and that whole conversation is based yeah. around their yeah. issue yeah. and you sat there for 30 minutes listening to what happened in another school that really had nothing to relate to you. I mean, I've attended to tons of those and that's usually what happens. So. Irma Kroger from the Nash or the Nebraska Association of School Boards. That's what she does. She tells you what you can say, what you can't say, what's private, what's not private. Yeah, she's very good. She's, she's very good. She's kind of she's kind of semi retired, I think, a little bit. She probably doesn't do it as often as she did she before. But, carny. Yeah, but she does she does a good job. <coughs> people there that do too, but she's probably more of the best. Yeah. It it'll be it'll cost less than all of us attending one. Okay. You know. Well, I mean to bring about here for it somehow and probably should cut the ball rolling there. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, but he worked more on how we could get along better. I'd like to just know, you know. Well, everyone does it detail too, just like Burma. I mean, yeah. either one or both. Yeah. I say let's try on. Yeah. Let's take it all. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.